Yes, good everyone. Uh, well, we're inside the pine forest here and uh, there's a lot of mushrooms inside the pine forest during the season. Now, this is your typical wood mushroom. There you go. You can identify that by its nice orange yep. colour. See that? These are not poisonous. You can eat them. You just need to clean them up. What, at the there's bottom? The scars at the bottom. Get rid of them. I don't like to do that with my hands because you get your hands all um, orange colour. But use a knife, get rid of the little scales, and then you can cook them up. Have a look over here, guys, on the, on the floor. This is a good way to identify them. Most mushrooms in the, in the forest are quite poisonous. So I advise you, if you don't know what you're doing, don't pick mushrooms, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, but they, they, these, probably, these ones probably taste like crap anyway, do they? No, they're, they're very good. They're a delicacy. They're, they're really nice. Um, Which means they taste like shit. <laughs> no. They're, they're quite quite good. Now, if you have a look on the floor here, Jace, yeah. you've got some examples of other types of mushrooms. Now, I'm not a mushroom expert, guys. I just know which What's ones one? I can pick. It's now, a a lot, all these colourful, bright mushrooms, they are like a red poisonous. One. Okay, what about this look. one with the... Yep, poisonous. Don't touch yeah. those ones. Now, just get it... So, just so everyone can identify the difference between some of these mushrooms. Have a look at here. You see those mushrooms there? So, that's a typical wood mushroom right there. So that's a good one. These are bad ones. So if you can have a look at that, make sure you've got to pick the right one. Yeah. Right. Till it's good. So you can see. So what ones have I? Eat? What ones have I eat? This one here. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes even some of them are really poisonous. Even if you touch them and, and put you know your finger in your mouth, or whatever, you could get sick. It might not necessarily kill you, but you could get sick. This is your pine forest wood mushroom, typical wood mushroom that you can eat. So I know that for a fact. All right, guys, what we've stumbled upon here is a whole bunch of wood mushrooms, as you can see them over there, so they're quite easily, quite easy to identify. Just have a look over there, Jace. Now, see this stuff? Huh? Yeah. This is a quite, quite a large wood mushroom, but at the moment, it's, all, it's already old. Okay, it's already old. Once you see that, the, that, that this is starting to um, go green, it's old, don't worry about it. You want, you want to pick them, you want to pick the fresh ones. So have a look over here. You've got some nice big wood mushrooms all over the place. Okay, just be careful you don't mistake them for another mushroom. And you've got a nice beautiful wood mushroom yep. right next to the colourful one, see? Yeah. So this one's great, perfect for eating, no good. No? No. Okay guys, as you know before, we picked the mushrooms and I'm just preparing some of the mushrooms here. And it's, it's a great thing to do when you're out hunting really, especially in the pine forest. If you find some of those wood mushrooms and in great condition, then please give it a go. Give them a bit of a clean up. Put them on the frying pan and it's going to be a great dish you're going to love it okay so here we are we're just over here we've just cleaned up some of these mushrooms what i'll do is i'll clean up this mushroom and i'll show you how it's done so basically you'll know have a good idea how to do it so you've got the stem of the mushroom just cut off the stem and then with your knife with the back of your knife just clear off those those gills there you go just like that so you're basically just tidying up the mushroom this is something that's really popular for all all the all those people that got a european background they they know about this sort of stuff and I'm making this video for the benefit of those who have never really tried this. It's not that hard to do, guys. As long as you make sure you identify the correct mushroom, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you have to do. So it shouldn't be that hard. So look, have a look at the top of the mushroom. We'll just make sure we get rid of all that muck. It's pretty neat. Now I'll just put it down here on my chopping board. I'll just get rid of the outside here because the outside burns. And there you go, my little knife. There we go. Get rid of that. And there you go. You've got pretty much the end result. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to chop them up into nice thin pieces, not too thick, similar to an onion ring, and then we're just going to put them and the onions inside the pan. Okay, so we've chopped up our onions and we've chopped up our mushrooms, and have a look over here, guys. There you go, you see that? Just chopped them up nicely like that, not too thick, okay, so that they can fry nicely in the frying pan. Really good. So what we've got, we've got we're heating up the pan here right now with the extra virgin olive oil. Uh, so we've got just basic ingredients. Everyone can have, everyone can get these. It's very easy, simple to cook. You just can need some salt, some pepper, and some extra virgin olive oil. That's it. And you've got your onions and your mushrooms, and this is a really great campsite snack. You're gonna love it. Okay, now we're gonna throw it on the pan, guys. So I'll put my onions first. I'll just get them caramelized inside the pan. It really adds some really good flavor to the mushrooms as well. Now, a lot of people like to make a casserole with these. So, you got your normal casserole, you put your beef and all your ingredients and vegetables and a lot of people like to add these mushrooms to the casserole and they taste great. Okay guys, our onions are caramelizing, now we're going to add our mushrooms. Look at that, that looks awesome. Now, this should only, should only take about 10 to 15 minutes at most. Keep the heat high. Make sure you get those mushrooms nicely cooked. 
There we go. And as you can see everyone, it's all reducing. So it's pretty much almost ready. Now, have a look at this guys. So I just get my little knife and I just dab the mushroom and just goes in nice and easy. It means they're nice and tender. There you go. And that's pretty much it. Now you can serve this on a sandwich, a toasted sandwich, or you can just eat them as they are. Just grab a fork and eat them as they are. They're fantastic. It's a great campsite snack. And um, yeah, so I mean, if the hunting's a little bit slow, like it is now, hey <laughs> Chase, uh, this is a fantastic dish that you can cook and just experiment while you're out in the bush. Okay guys, it's pretty much ready, so I'm just gonna chuck it on, on, a, on a sandwich, just like that. Look at that, beautiful, delicious. Absolutely delicious, beautiful. The humble wood mushroom. Whenever you're in the state forest, guys, make sure you cook some up.